everybody, NerdDad5000 back with another reaction video. If this is your first time at the channel, take a second to click that subscribe button. It's easy. All you have to do is... And you're subscribed. Also take a second to click the bell icon so you continue to get notifications of any time I release a new video. If this is not your first time with the channel, welcome back as always. This has been out a couple of weeks and I've been meaning to get to it and it's kind of fell by the wayside. But now here is my reaction to the Disney Plus Day release. A little trailer looking at Obi-Wan Kenobi, the live action series coming to Disney Plus in 2022. Reading the description of it, it looks like, yep, the story begins about 10 years after Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, where Kenobi faced his greatest defeat, the downfall and corruption of his best friend and Jedi apprentice, Anakin Skywalker. So if it's 10 years after Revenge of the Sith, that means Luke is 10. Now, I don't know if this whole series is going to be set on Tatooine. We'll just have to wait and see. So this is about a one-minute trailer. Let's see what this thing has to show us. Disney Plus. There's a hunger for this character to come back. The fans have been waiting long enough, you know? Yeah, we like you, Ewan. Something like that's extremely you exciting is the return of obviously Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Nice. This is quite a dark time that we're coming into with him. Just being a Jedi, it's not safe. There's Jedi hunters out there. At least he has this one task left, which is to keep Luke safe. That's definitely a starting place for our story. The interesting thing is going to be where it goes from there. Oh, look at this art. Nice. <gasps> it's the most beautiful thing of all is that it's brought me back together with Hayden. We are bringing back Hayden Christensen to reprise the role of Darth Vader. We couldn't tell the story of Obi-Wan Kenobi without addressing Anakin or Vader. Oh, I can't have, them. have another swing at each other. It might be quite uh, satisfying for everybody. Yes, we'd like to see another fight. We hope that you enjoy it as much as we enjoy making it. Oh, I like how they edited that together to look like they were actually fighting. I don't think that was from the new show. I think that was past scenes of Vader fighting somebody and Obi-Wan fighting somebody and they stuck it together to make it look like they were fighting. But yeah, artwork looks amazing. Love Ewan McGregor in this part. Um, am I happy that they're bringing Hayden Christensen back to, keep, to continue playing Darth Vader? Yes, I mean, he wasn't bad. I, I kind of fell into that group of people who initially kind of hated the prequels. But over the years and watching them more and more times, yeah, I like them. They're it's a good story. I mean, we had to we had to see where Darth Vader came from. We kind of had some backstory that maybe he hadn't always been the way he was. And you know, they were three perfectly good movies in comparison to the most recent three movies. Um, they're amazing. So yeah, but it looks like like it said, it looks like it's gonna start on Tatooine or maybe he's going to check into Tatooine every so often to see how Luke's doing but it looks like it is especially from the artwork it's not all going to be on Tatooine so yeah probably some sh scenes of him flying around uh, some scenes of him having to uh, take on some Jedi hunters and the fact that there are Jedi hunters make me think that maybe more Jedi's got away than we thought. And of course we know that from the animated, you know, some of the other series that have come out and more Jedi's popping up in shows that happen later than this. But it should be interesting. I wonder if what other Jedi we might see, if they'll introduce new ones or maybe some that we thought died and but didn't die and pop back up. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Super excited for this. Glad to see more and more Star Wars stuff coming out. And no exact release date, just... Uh, sometime in 2022 but yeah can't wait to see it and as always if you like what you see please click subscribe the easiest way is the little red square that's right over here ish you will click subscribe also take a second to click the bell icon so you continue to get notifications of any time i release a new video if you like what you see please click like likes are super important to not only my channel but any channels that you like to watch 
helps get our videos out front of the YouTube algorithm so that more and more people see them, which helps us make more and more videos, which helps our channels grow. So yeah, if you like what you see, please click like. What are you hoping to see from this show? Uh, ten years after Revenge of the Sith, he's dropped Luke off with Aunt Uncle. He's been living on Tatooine these ten years. Uh, are we going to get to see young Luke, young ten-year-old Luke? What other adventures is Obi-Wan going to go on? Are we going to see other Jedi besides him? We know Hayden Christensen's back as Darth Vader. Are we wanting to see another fight between them? Will it be as good? I don't know. But uh, any comments about that, put it in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time, this has been Nerd Dad 5000. I will see you later.